Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and what am I going to do today? <laughs> Welcome to Make It Monday. And usually on Mondays, I kind of do what I need to do, not necessarily what I want to do. And I need to finish up this journal. I have pulled out all of the goodies that I'm making it from. Now this collection, Autumn Bliss, I do believe. And let's see if I have another kit in here. I think I have, this is Alicia's. Oh, I don't remember the name of it. I will link the kits below that I used for this, this journal. I absolutely love them. But I know one of them is Fall Bliss. I can't remember what this one is called. It may be Fall is in the Air, but I will list it below. When I have uh, two daughters that are doing digitals as well, it's hard for me to keep up with who does what. Because you know, y'all know, I can't even keep up with what I do most of the time. Now this is the cover that I'm using for this journal. I thought this is some upholstery material. It's old that Melina was going to toss and I grabbed. Isn't that pretty? I think it goes together well. So I've got my digitals printed. I've got them printed on both sides. I've got some extra scrap paper here. We're just going to decide what we want to be the front of it. And I may use that door. And I'm talking about the first page, not the front cover, the first page. That's a different door, but I don't know. I may use that one. I kind of like that one, too. And then there's another door. This one should have been called Fall Doors. Let's see. I think I might use that one. I like how it looks. And I think it will look good. I usually do this. I usually open my journal cover up and I lay it in there. And then I just open it up and go, ooh, yeah, that's going to work. It's got a lot of the colors that's on the cover. It's got the greens. It's got the amber looking. It's got the tans, the browns. So that's going to be our front cover right there. Or our first page, I should say. I call it front cover. should call it first page. Scroll down. Scroll. I'm scrolling. <laughs> uh, you can tell I've been on the computer all day, right? <laughs> I'm scrolling. Oh, yes. I have been on the computer all day and last night, too. Okay, I'm just going through and putting some pages in. They are subject to change. Now, this is a pinkish looking paper, but it's also a little bit um, tannish. And see, I think it goes well with that. So, we're going to put that in there. Then, I'm going to come back with a couple of small pages. Let's see, I think I have another small page. And I know you guys have seen me do, do this a dozen and one times, but we're going to do it one more time. Let's see, let's grab some of Alicia's put here. I mean they go well together so it really doesn't matter but I'm just gonna try to mix them up. And I may not use all these little scrap pieces that I pulled out. I just like to grab them and have them here on my desk when I start to work. Um let's see. I think I'm gonna put this one in there. Now, I just printed all the back, backing pages in the coffee dot, so they're nothing spectacular, but that's just what I wanted on this one. All right, and then this one. Now, I'm going to do a single signature, so I don't really know how many pages I'm going to put in. Probably 25. That's usually a good number. But then again, I just kind of add them in and then I feel and feel, see if it feels good. And if it does, then I leave it. And if not, then I add a few more. So let's see what else we got. We got a piece of old notebook paper from one of my kids' old notebooks. This one in there. I love to include old ledger paper in them. 
So do that one. Then let's see. I like I love the writing on this as I've told you many times before. So we're gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna put that one, I think, right there. And then thinking I might do this. And yeah, that I like that. It's got a lime green on both of those, so now let's see how many pages we have so far. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I've got twenty-seven in there so far, so that's plenty, I do believe. I think as a matter of fact. I'm going to turn this one the other way, and it's going to be my center one. So I'm going to have it that way. That, that will be the center. These I will use for tags and things. Okay, I think we've got it. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this, these together. Just like that, and then whoops, and then I'll sling everything around. Let's see. Let's make sure I've got it in right. I'm just going to insert it in our journal tool. I'm going to go ahead and no, Edith, you're forgetting the cover. Hello. See, I was so anxious to put those together, I completely forgot about putting the cover on there. And that wouldn't have worked. All right now, I just kind of make sure that my covers are folded correctly in the middle. And then I just look at these as I put them in here. Let's put it the other way. It's easier for me to visualize this way. And then it looks like I'm going to just slide it down a little bit. Slide this side down a little bit. I just kind of center it up because I left a little bit of room on either end on this journal cover because I wanted to get those flowers on there. So I just kind of center it up and make sure that when it folds, it's going to fold with both sides even and it looks like it is. I think we're ready to punch. I'm going to put a couple more clips on here just because sometimes these that are I've got lots of pages in. Sometimes they'll slide a little bit. So putting extra clips always helps. Now I just make sure that my cover is centered on both sides. It looks like it is. And then I punch my hole. And this is for you guys who have not seen me do this before. I know most of the people who are our regular viewers they have seen me do this many many times but we always have new people and I hate to not do something again just because we you know I've done it before because there's always new people signing up so I like to go over things again if I need to now even though all of these are linked in my YouTube channel under journals all of these making the covers and all of that sometimes it's harder for newer people to find things like that if they're not used to searching on YouTube very much now I had a little bit of problem on this end because sometimes your fabric will close back up and mine did so I put my little pokey tool through there and then put my tool my pin through. Here we go. That's the only problem about putting a lot of extra pages is sometimes it's a little bit harder to bind them but back down through that one and then back through the center. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, and I've just made sure that my thread is on either side of that thread that goes down the middle. We're going to tighten it up, and then I like to come and look at the outside, see if that looks okay. I think it does. So then, get these clips off. Now when I'm tightening it up, I like to lay it in my journal like I think I want it to look. As you can see right now, I can still manipulate it a little bit. But if I wait very long, I can't. If I tie it, that's all over with. And once I get it where I want it, then I just double tie and I tie it real tight. And it's there. So there we go. There is our journal. Now, as you can see, when I use um, scrap pieces of whatever, and, you know, I used my bubble mailers inside here, sometimes they'll have a fold in them that it wants to fold in a different place. That's just something you have to train. You know, you just have to keep going over it, opening and closing and pressing down, and it'll, it'll be fine. I have seen that happen many times, but you can just work it out. And it'll it will come out just fine it looks like the top and the bottoms working well so and I love the way this frayed around the edges I love that looks like I got a little knot right there so let's try to cut that off this one was actually ordered as a naked journal and what a naked journal means for anybody who don't know it's just they want the journal sewn in journal pages sewn in and then just some pieces to do the embellishing their self which is fine I don't mind that at all so I have plenty of pieces cut out plenty more pieces that can be cut out and these will just all go with the journal I want I may go ahead and back the tags and things for the person because you know I don't know if they have everything that they need to back tags and things with I'm sure they probably do but We'll do a little bit more for it. So all of those pieces can go with it. All of these pieces can go with. So we'll load up a big load of items that will go with the journal. But I'm going to go ahead and back these. I do have more of these and I'll probably add them in too. But this is just some that I had in the little bag. So how are you guys today? I hope you're all doing well. Had a good weekend. I had another lazy weekend. I've got to where I have those quite often. You know, there for a while I worked all weekend and I've got to where lately I just don't want to. I think it's getting the time of year where I just want to hibernate. Because I did sit and sleep a little bit yesterday and then I regretted it last night because I couldn't go to sleep but I turned on the TV and was watching a little show and the next thing I knew I woke up oh, a couple hours later <laughs> the show was all over with I didn't get that straight so let's try that again yeah so I, I slept and then last night when I went to bed I wasn't sleepy so it was this morning before I actually went to sleep. I'm not a fan of nights like that, but I should have known better than to go to sleep yesterday. I never, ever, ever, hardly ever, unless I'm sick, go to sleep during the day. But I got up early yesterday morning and I had intended to go to Brooklyn's show or show and when I got up I had some IBS problems so and then and over at the little arena where she's at they really don't they have a porta john and that's it and I just I can't hardly stand to use those things <laughs> so I felt like I didn't need to get too far away from the bathroom that may be TMI for some people but I do have IBS I do have it seriously <laughs> I have chronic obvious so anyway I called Alicia and said I'm just gonna have to stay home this morning I said I just 
I'm afraid to get too far away from my bathroom, if you know what I mean. And she said, yeah, I know what you mean, because she has it too. So I didn't didn't get to go. And little Brooke, bless her heart, she's so sweet. I, I texted her after it was all over with, and I said, baby, I'm so sorry that I didn't get to come watch you. I said, I, I have I be, had a bout with my IBS, and I just was afraid to get away from the bathroom, and I knew they didn't have a good bathroom over there, so, and she said, oh, Nene, that's just fine, she said, it's no problem, she said, I, I have IBS too, you know, and I know how bad it is, bless her heart, she said, you don't worry about it, Nene, she said, I'll send you plenty of pictures, she's just so sweet, I said, I said, are you sure you're 12, you're like 12 going on 20, she said, I love you, Nana. You get to feeling better. And she's just such a sweet girl. So, I said, well, I do want pictures and videos and whatever else you got because I wanted to see you bad. I said, I got up early and got ready so that I could get to it. And then it just didn't happen. She said, Nana, don't worry about it. That's okay. It's no problem. She said, there'll be other shows. I said, well, did you have fun? She said, I sure did. That was her and Millie, her new horse. That's their first show together. So they did good. She won a ribbon, and Millie won a ribbon, which is they said is very good for her first show and for Brooklyn, you know, not riding her. But I think it's been, what, a month and a half now, maybe six weeks. So they was very impressed, but... Millie is, was a barrel racing horse, so she's not used to doing some of the things that, you know, Brooklyn has her do in the shows, so, but they did really good. And Millie absolutely loves Brooklyn to death. I think, I really think if somebody come up to hurt Brooklyn and Millie was there beside her, I think she would probably kick them to death because Brooklyn can just go to the fence of where she's, you know, at, and Millie will spot her, and she'll come loping up to the gate, and then hold her head down for Brooklyn to rub her head, and Brooklyn said, even though we didn't win but one ribbon this time, she said, since it was Millie's first show, she said, I'd give her plenty of hugs and kisses anyway, <laughs> I said, that's good. I'm sure she did as good as she could do, not knowing, you know, all of the forms that they do over there, being used to being a fast barrel racer. So, and I tell you, Brooklyn would fight for that Millie, too. She had a, she ended up with a little scratch on her leg when <clears throat> Brooklyn went to get her out of the stall or out of the fence. She had a little scratch on her leg and Brooklyn saw the blood and she just the trainer was standing there with Brooklyn and Brooklyn just went crazy she said oh no she's hurt she's hurt and the trainer said hold on Brooklyn don't get so excited she said we'll take care of her so they when they when she came out the gate they checked her and it was just a little superficial wound it was like she had scratched her leg on some kind of weed or something and they doctored it up, and, and they told Brooklyn, and said, it's fine, baby, don't worry about it. She's not hurt bad. She just got a little scratch. It'll heal. We'll keep a, an eye on it. And uh, she said, you don't worry about it. It's going to be good. So Brooklyn was happy about that. But there for a little bit, she was about to get upset. She loves that horsey. Okay. What else can we do for the recipient? I'd like to do something with this. Maybe we'll make a big tag out of this. Let me grab one of my tags. One of my time cards, I should say, not tags. And yeah, let's make a big tall tag out of this one. That will give her some options. And the person said they didn't mind what, you know, theme journal it was. So I'm hoping they're okay with the 
the fall journal because that's actually what I wanted to start on week before last when I pulled this out so I don't think they'll mind and then I've got Christmas I got some Christmas digitals to put up they should be up let's see we'll have some up tomorrow and then mine should be finished uh, either tonight or tomorrow night and I'll be able to get it up I've just got to add the ephemera so we'll have some Christmas up which I did let y'all know about the Christmas from last year got some beautiful kits from last year and I put those in the newsletter I do believe in case you wanted to check any of those out then we'll have new ones to go along with but I will be starting on Christmas journals probably next week because I've got this one and two more to finish up and then I will be up to the Christmas journals which the next person had ordered a Christmas journal. So we'll get those started. And and I'll be working on other people's journals too. Not just I'm not gonna say it's just gonna be Christmas journals. From then on out in the background I'll probably be working on other journals as well. And I've about got the new blog ready to go. I've been adding things in and trying to get everything set up. I've just got one little issue right now with it. And I have put in a message to the company to see if they can help me straighten it out. And then we should be ready to go, hopefully by Thursday. Thursday when I send out the newsletters hopefully I can send it out from the new blog maybe if nothing goes wrong I may fold that around just so that there will be extra writing space on the back you can fold that out right on that I do need to cut this top off I think I should fold it around I think I'm going to if the person doesn't want it folded around there all they have to do is cut it off and then they can use it somewhere else I don't know why I am doing that before I trim it and yeah I'm gonna trim it into a tag shape and that's gonna cut that back piece too but that's okay Remember, no rules. Remember, no rules in crafting. You do your own thing. And I will put some lace and different things in the little kit that I send so that the person will have plenty of items to finish up their journal with. All right, let's see what else we can make. What about we use this one and make one of those little wraparounds. I love that. And then you could journal here. So what if we, even though I've already got it folded, what if we do this? Let's see. I think I'm going to fold a little piece of this over. It just helps the spacing in your pocket. Hold your breath. I think I actually folded that straight this time. Okay. And then fold this over like that. Now for this little crease right here, we're just going to run the bone folder over it. And it'll lay down. And this is crooked. And then this one I fold over and make a little side tuck. So let's glue this down. 
I hope this is light enough. For some reason, my screen looks really dark, and I don't know if it's just my computer. I have my camera hooked up to my computer, and I don't know if it's just my computer settings that makes it look dark, but hopefully this is light enough for you. I'm hoping that's all it is, because I've got my lights on as normal. I got a little glue right there, so I will wait till that dries, and then I'll use my eraser and pick that up. And this little top piece is a little bit off. So see, this will fold around then. So let's say, well, let's just say this is your journal page. We could put it on like this. And this would be a little side tuck. And then this would be a top tuck and then a little flip out. And see, we can decorate this a little bit more. Well, I, see, I'm trying to decorate and the person wants a naked journal. So I don't know if I'll decorate or just put some items in there for it. So we've got a little pull there. Let's put a little pull up here. Let them know that that is a pocket. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to put something there. I know the person is, said they want it naked, and I'm not going to put it in the journal, so it will be naked, but I do want to put a little something up here. Just to... Give it a little extra oomph. I don't know about either any of these. Let me just cut across them a little bit. I was thinking about this chicken. Let's see. Do we want it wrapped around a little bit? Oh, that would be all right. Let's do that. I'm going to put it down and then just wrap a little bit around to the other side. There we go. I like that. And then they can always add more if they want to. So this one is finished. It's ready to go in. And like I said, if they want to add more, they can. That's not a problem. And I know they've got ink, but you know it's hard for me to let it go if it's not inked. Now this could definitely be a little flip out. You've already got the little piece on here, and that could be a little flip out with the writing. So we'll let that go with it. And then these can be journal cards. We can do a belly band. I'll tell you what, let's do a little belly band. And I may just do a belly band with this. This is some straw paper that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations probably about a year ago. I order it about once a year because that's that's all I can afford. <laughs> it's not that she's high. She's not high on it at all. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just the shipping from uh, Italy is expensive. And I, I can't afford to do very many orders. I wish I could. I wish I could order it all the time from her. But I usually do one pretty good order once a year of vintage book pages because you know she can get all of those old antique books over there in Italy whereas we can't. We don't get anything like that here. Oops. May have slid it too far. So try to order book pages from her and then straw paper. I know, you're thinking, I thought she was making a... <laughs> uh, yeah. um, belly band. Well, I'm trying. I just wanted to reinforce it because this straw paper is not real thick. So, I like to reinforce it if possible because you don't want a little flimsy belly band that's not going to hold anything 
put that over there. That'd be a good for a tag. And then we can add a few little pieces to this if we want. Like some of this. And add one of those to it. Um, I'm thinking I want the sunflower one. I guess that's the sunflower. I told Brandon this morning, we're always cutting up. Even when I turned, I think, 66, Melina said, she's always made this comment about, oh my goodness, you're almost 70. She just, she always does that. That's just her. And then we laugh. We have a big laugh about it. So... I told Brandon this morning, I said, man, when I got up, I felt like I was 70, <laughs> which I'm, you know, just around the corner. But anyway, he said, yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like I'm 60 <laughs> and he's not anywhere near 60. Why is it some days you just feel a lot older than other days? You just get tired and wore out and And I don't know why I was so wore out because, like I said, I didn't really do anything over the weekend. I think sometimes my not doing stuff, not staying busy, because I've been so used to staying busy all my life. And when I am not busy, I think that affects me more than just going, going, going. I think down here on the bottom, I might put this little oval. Even though I am not good at cutting out of oval, we're going to try it. Give it a shot. Cut out of oval a little bit better than I can cut out of circle, but I'm not real good at either one. I get in too big a hurry. This It takes patience to cut out little circles and ovals and things, and I don't have a lot of that. I like to go fast. We'll see what this looks like. It may not look right, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I don't mind that. And we'll, I'll just wrap around the extra. And that'll give a good start to what the person can do with the journal if they want to. And then if they don't want to use any of these pieces in it, they don't have to. They can make their own. Guess who said I was going to get a new dauber and I haven't. You see all the little giblets coming off of it. Alright, so there is a belly band and I'm hoping it's the right height. It may be a little short. It's a little short, but it, it will be okay. You don't have to have a belly band that goes all the way. You can just put it partial. So that'll be good. That'll be that. I'm also going to use some of this paper. I told you guys I was going to steal me one. This is the Sunflower Art by Stamperia. And I love this. And it goes well with this kit. We've got the old truck, the sunflower, the old barns, the person and the jeans and things. So we're going to use some of this. Don't tell Melina I stole it. No, I told her I was going to get one. I haven't pulled out a piece of paper for myself in a while because I try to save them for you guys but this one just spoke to me look at that isn't that beautiful we do have a few more of these not many and then I, I won't be able to get any more this year oh, I love that hmm, trying to think of something I can do with that and then look at this old quilt all of that See, I want to use every page, and that's not quite possible. I think I'll use her. Oh, that would be pretty. Hmm. And then you've got all of these journal cards. And I will send a lot of this with the kit, too, so that the person can make them some things out of it. So if you want one of those, it's in the new collections, I believe, or new product category. You can go over and grab your one. Now, I'm going to cut this off. I don't think this is going to need any backing other than just the writable backing because it's pretty 
strong, this paper. It's not real, real thick, but it's thick enough. And I think I'll make this one four inches. That's going to get, hmm, let's make it four and a half. I want to get her picture in there too, her painting. So let's make it four and a half. And I think that will get her painting. And then that will go to the recipient. Now, can't really write on that, so we'll probably cover the backing. But I think I do need to cut it down a little bit. Because that's going to be way too tall. Oh, you know what? We could. Okay, we may try something here in just a second. I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to see what that would look like if I fold that over. Now, a little too many flowers, so we're going to cut it off a little bit more. And let's see how tall this is. That'll let me know if I need to cut it off more. Um, it's eight and a half, so that should be good. I, I wanted to keep this. I didn't want to cut that off. So I'm going to leave it. If the person doesn't like the length, then they can always trim it. So we need to cover the back with something. I think we'll just back it with a piece of that. So you guys let me know how you're doing. I know I haven't answered comments in a while. I have been reading them. I just hadn't had a chance to answer them. So please be patient with me. And I, yes, I could have done that over the weekend while I was resting. But <laughs> I didn't. When I answer comments, I'm not resting. So I didn't. I just, I've let them get behind. And I try not to because it, I don't like to have things staring at me that I need to do. But sometimes you just have to let some things go to do something else. And I, I think I'm going to trim. Let's see. No, nope, I'm going to leave it. Now, do we want to make this into a tag shape or just round it? I think I'm just going to round the corners. I don't want to lose very much of this image. If I could paint, I would be right there with her. I'd be standing out on a bank somewhere painting everything that I've seen. And probably a lot of things that I didn't see. Okay, I'll make sure that the glue stuck well just by rubbing my bone folder over it really hard. And that one, is, that's a good tag right there. Look at this dog. Is that not adorable? We could make a pocket out of him. I think we might do that. He just, he's about to get that butterfly. <laughs> just about to get it. Let's see how much we need to cut off. We don't need our tag very wide. So, I think five inches is going to be good. So, we need to cut off about right there. So, we make it any wider than five, then it's going to be way too wide for our journal. Oh, you know, this could be a wraparound and we wouldn't even have to could be a pocket and a wrap around. Why don't we do that? Then we wouldn't have to cut any of that. I start to say waste it, but you guys know I wouldn't waste it anyway. But if we made it a little wrap around, it would wrap around the page. Let's say this is the page. <clears throat> We'll go on the page like that or like that wherever you wanted it and then this could be a little side tuck or a little just a tuck we'll cut that off and then this will be a pocket so it would glue down here and here and then we don't waste any of it so let's do that let's cut a little pull Ooh, I don't want to I don't want to cut the butterfly off so I, my pull may be in a different spot let's see I'm just going to cut a teeny tiny one in there. 
And then on this side, we'll make this a little side tuck. So we'll cut that off like that. There we go. Two birds with one stone. And no, I didn't kill them either. Just two birds with one stone. Cute. So there's another piece. And I think that will go in that journal well too. Got the flowers in it. And then you still got this piece that you can make some things out of. We could fold that and make the, that one of those folded tags that you put the journal in space on the inside. But I may just include that with the journal and let that be let that be something they decide that they might want to do. So let's see how many pieces we got completed. Well, we got our journal, we got our pages put in there, and then we got one, two, three, four, five. I thought we had another tag. Six, we do. A belly band, seven. Got eight, nine. So we got nine, no, we got ten and eleven. We got eleven pieces made. That's great. For the person who is getting this journal and like i said they can use these in the journal or they can just use them somewhere else they don't have to use them in this particular journal but they will go well and then see let me show you these see that's gonna go perfect i mean even there's a page back here that even has that color that particular color in it that she has on so these are gonna go great so these will just get tucked in here and then I will include lots more goodies and, and all of these pieces with the kit and then they can decorate it how they want to. They wanted a naked journal so that's what we're going to give them. But I am going to give them some embellishments because I just feel like I feel really naked if I don't. <laughs> no, I, it's, a, it's unusual for me to get an order for a naked journal so... Um, I don't know how to do those exactly. <laughs> That's why I want to send all kinds of goodies with them, with the journal, so that they can play around with it. All right, guys, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.